do you have, do you have, do you have friends and family that, that are actually going to come today? Or? Yeah, I have a, a group of friends that drove up. And my family's going to be here. Uh, my immediate family, not my immediate family, but my cousin, my aunts, my grandparents are all from Montreal. So uh, nice. it was nice to see them yesterday. It's got to be nice to play in front of them today. You played a couple times here before, yeah. right? Uh, no, my second game was against Montreal, but in in Boston, yeah. Teams had a you know a hard time winning, obviously on the road trip and then the last couple of weeks in general. What, what do you think you guys have to do to kind of change the results? As apart from you know putting in the effort over a full sixty minutes, what do you think you have to do to make a difference? Yeah, I think that's that's a one of the reasons why we've been losing. It's we haven't played sixty minute games. Uh, like we've put ourselves in good position uh, coming into third, and we've seen our team going down. Um, so I think it's just full co uh, focus focusing on really playing a full 60 minute uh, as a team, be consistent and uh, low plays um, on the board, winning battles, winning one on ones, and uh, uh, putting some bucks on net. And I think uh, that's one of the reasons why we've been losing. Why do you think it's been difficult? Is the focus part is because guys are getting tired this time of year? I think there's a lot going on. Obviously, like there's the trade deadline is coming up, uh, and it's hard as a team when you you haven't uh, win in a couple games, uh, especially in a long road trip. But I think that's as a team you expect to win every every night, and you want to win as a competitor. It, it, you're mad when you lose, so uh, obviously for me, uh, I hate losing. So um, just come in the game and be ready to play a six and full sixty minute. I think that's that's the, the that's what we need to do to to win tonight. Jeremy, uh, did Thursday in any way help you sort of regroup a little bit? Think about your game. And sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Thursday when you were down the lineup. Yeah. Help you regroup a little bit. Um, yeah, I think um, lately I've been playing some good hockey too. Uh, uh, I think I've uh, I've been playing one of my best hockey in the NHL. Obviously, this year with uh, we have eight guys that are that were NHL defensemen last year coming in, so it's a little different. Um, and we've been losing, so they they just talked to me. They wanted to change the little thing. They wanted to uh, to see how if the group would answer better if. Um, Flurry was was in, so um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Obviously, when I'm out, I just try to uh, go back and check out my games and see what I can do better and uh, improve. That's for sure. Jeremy, I just wanted to ask you about uh, your your brothers. Yeah. What they come through specifically, Neil, just a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, have you talked to him about it? And what's that been like for the family? I mean, that's yeah. Tough. Obviously, with Zach. Uh, Two years ago, three years ago, having to uh, like being drafted the second round in Pittsburgh and having to say it uh, to scratch uh, his dream to be playing in the NHL, it's always tough uh, because of concussion. Um, but I think for ML, uh, having Zach to all uh, uh, already went through that path, it was a little easier to uh, to understand uh, and to to live with it because Zach was there for him. And the important part, I think, it's the health, right? Like, if you don't feel like healthy playing hockey, and that was the case of ML. Like every time he was stepping on the ice after that, he was going to school, and he couldn't concentrate uh, for the whole day. And uh, for him and for my parents, our family, school is really important. So uh, he decided to just step away from hockey and concentrate on school. Now he's doing way better, and I think the pressure too, like, is off his back, trying to come back. So. I think he's in a good place, and I'm happy for him. And uh, I know it's a tough decision, and and uh, he's he's been uh, really good and really brill brilliant uh, through the whole process. So I'm really proud of him. Is it just the three of you, three brothers? Uh, we're three and a, a sister. I have a, a uh, Emily. Emily. Yeah. Okay. And uh, do you feel a certain I don't want to say pressure or responsibility that you know I'm going to do like not you know the cheesy I'm going to do for you guys? You guys are out, and I'm the only one left. How do you feel about no, I don't think so. Like, it's, it, my brothers are proud of me too. I'm proud of them, and I know 
uh, they're following me, they watch all my games, and they understand hockey too. So it's nice to to be able to chat with them and uh, uh, to chat to chat about uh, our team and our game and my game. So no, it's it's been fun, and I think they're uh, obviously I, I've been able to see both of them yesterday, so that was huge. And uh, it, it was the first time I, I had uh, saw Emil uh, after his the his decision to to stop playing. So no, we had a good conversation. And, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, they're going to be here tonight. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, did you guys always play road hockey growing up? Was it yeah, class? yeah, we we uh, we played a lot of mini stick too downstairs. It was always me, Zach, against my dad and ML. Uh, I remember ML was so small when he was growing up. Like me and Zach really grew fast, but ML wasn't. So like he was like able to run with his mini stick. Uh, but uh, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, it's good souvenirs. And do you guys want to play for Rowan or anything? <laughs> yes, actually, we we wanted to, but uh, we have uh, a lot of family friends that are the owners of uh, uh, the team in Valdor, so they really wanted to pick him out, and uh, it was a good rivalry too. Uh, I wish I, I had the chance to play against him too. That would have been fun, but uh, no, it's it's good. Uh, I think their lives. I think they're like my Zach is finishing his degree in uh, finance right now, and Emil is going to college in uh, engineering. Uh, so I think they 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 already found their own little path, and I think they're really happy in it. So uh, yeah, like I said, I'm really proud of them. So that'll mean a lot to be out on the ice today with them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, it's. I think it's gonna be the first time I've in two years. Uh, I'm gonna play in front of my them actually. My parents came in Seattle though, uh, earlier this year, but because of COVID, obviously, I, uh, it was tough last year. Like they couldn't come to games and everything. Yeah. So, no, it's gonna be fun for sure. When I watch my little brother play, I rip him apart. As the older brother, are they nicer? Do they rip you apart as well? Uh, no. Uh, like I said, they understand hockey. So like, yeah. if I have a bad game, he's gonna text me. He's gonna a hey, tough tough one tonight, eh? But like, no, we're. Uh, We've always been like competitors growing up, and we've all been competing against each other and with each other. So uh, now he's he's pushing me. I I push them. So so no, it's always good. Ben, je je pense pas que je sens le stress. Euh, mais tu sais, on le sait, on ne se cachera pas. Là, mettons, on n'a pas eu la meilleure saison. Euh, on n'a pas la meilleure saison en ce moment, puis on est dans une position que probablement qu'il euh, y a des joueurs qui, qui, vont, euh, qui vont partir. Euh, on, qui, on, je ne sais pas. Puis, je pense que chaque gars se concentre sur, sur euh, la prochaine game. Euh, Peut-être que dans le fond de la tête de, de certains gars, euh, ils euh, pensent un peu plus. Mais comment moi j'apprête ça, j'y vais le, jour le jour. Puis, Euh, je me concentre sur ma game, puis comme, comme j'ai dit, je me concentre sur la game à ce soir-là. Ben, ben c'est sûr, comme tu as dit, Yanni, il y a deux coupes, puis il, a, il sait quoi ça prend pour, 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 pour gagner. Fait que, euh, avoir un gars dans, dans le vestiaire comme ça, qui, qui apporte de l'énergie, vous le savez, tu sais, euh, Yanni, c'est un gars super énergique. Fait que, Tu leur sens quand ils rentrent dans, dans, dans une chambre dans, dans, autour des gars, ils apportent beaucoup d'énergie et euh, on est très chanceux de l'avoir à Seattle. Euh, en fait, c'est sûr que tu as parlé bon, mais avec la transition, l'adaptation, quand Yanni nous parlait tout à l'heure, euh, de ton côté, comment tu vois ça? Tu sais, c'est quand même des gars qui venaient de, de chaque formation différente pour faire l'équipe d'expansion. Euh, comment ça s'est passé pour toi, justement, l'adaptation avec Seattle? Comment tu vois le le groupe de joueurs qu'on a peut-être moins la chance ici de voir. Mm -hmm. Je pense que ça, ça s'est bien, euh, bien fait. C'est sûr que euh, j'étais à Boston avant. Euh, tu sais, une équipe qui, était, qui compétitionne pour les playoffs à chaque année. Euh, J'ai eu la chance de rentrer dans une relation de même et de, de vivre euh, euh, une expérience en playoffs. C'est sûr que euh, cette année, euh, tu sais, euh, on n'est pas hors des playoffs en, en ce moment, mais Euh, si on regarde les chances qu'on a à faire les peurs, je pense qu'on sont assez basses, mais 
Euh, puis peut-être, tu sais, juste avoir la chance de pas faire les... Ben, pas avoir la chance, mais de peut-être avoir le... de pas faire les playoffs, ben, c'est quelque chose que, qui me frustre. Je veux pas comme joueur de hockey, c'est... Euh, comme, comme compétiteur, ben, tu veux avoir la chance de gagner une coupe à chaque année. Fait que, c'est pour ce côté-là, c'est peut-être un peu, mais... Euh, mais je pense qu'on a un groupe, on a un bon groupe, puis, euh, c'est difficile quand t'es, tu viens de 30 équipes différentes, euh, avec des systèmes différents, des coachs différents, des, euh, une culture différente. Euh, je pense que c'est, euh, c'est pour ça qu'on a eu peut-être un peu de, de la misère à, à se trouver en tant qu'équipe, hein, à se trouver. Euh, mais overall, je, je pense que notre groupe, là, c'est vraiment, euh, c'est, on a vraiment un bon groupe. Hein. Euh, puis je suis sûr que le futur euh, euh, est prometteur. Là. Ben, ouais, je pense que c'est continuer la discussion puis euh, continuer à, à, à travailler en tant qu'équipe puis pas, pas se décourager. C'est sûr que quand tu, tu perds 5-6 games de suite, c'est, c'est, c'est pas facile pour personne puis le moral il est bas, mais je pense que c'est continuer à, à, à être positif sur le banc. Puis, je veux pas, on a, on, dans les derniers games, on, on a joué contre euh, Toronto, on a gagné contre Nashville, une très bonne équipe. On a joué contre Toronto, Calgary, euh, euh, Caroline, on a tout tenu tête à, à ces, ces gros clubs-là. Fait que, a, oui, on perd les games, mais il y a beaucoup de positifs. Euh, je pense qu'il faut se concentrer là-dessus euh, pour, pour euh, construire, euh, euh, juste construire notre, notre équipe et notre identité. Puis, euh, t'sais, oui, il nous reste 22 games, mais je pense que les 22 games sont aussi, aussi importantes pour l'avenir de cette équipe-là. Là.